the volcano snail is one of the most unconventional snail species and animals in the world they live in. Shells made of iron, they have iron bits on their feet, and they don't need to eat these scaly food snails, live in extreme conditions of heat and pressure. They can be considered living relics since they are all inspiring features, used to be pretty common. Half a billion years ago, the volcano snail is classified as Chrysamelum squamous, comes from ancient Greek, and means golden hair after the golden color of one of the iron sulfide compounds pyrite, which is located in the shell of the snail. The specific name swarmifirum is from Latin and means bearing scales, alluding to the iron pieces on the foot of the snail called sclerites. Volcano snails are deep sea snails which inhabit the hydrothermal vents miles below sea level. These winds spew scolding hot mineral water and the volcano snails have adapted to the extreme conditions of this environment by escaping themselves in iron volcano snails are also commonly known as sea pangolins. Scalar food gas reports and scalar food snails they belong to the family Peltospiridae which has a very small family of gastropods that contains no subfamilies. The snails also belong to the order of deep sea snails known falata, the volcano snails. Hydrothermal habitat influenced some of its physical and dietary evolutionary traits. Over millions of years, mineralized iron and sulfur infused the shells and bodies of these snails. However, while volcano snails are the only animals on earth that have this incredible feature, it was a pretty common physical trait. In the Cambrian epoch 540 million years ago, volcano snails are able to withstand harsh temperatures in extremely low pressure due to their ironclad armor. Studies of the volcano snail's genes revealed that the genes which control its scaly food and shell actually did not evolve much in the last 514 million years. That means that the genes are much older than this. The volcano snails also develop large hearts, which make up 4% of its body volume, and unusually large propulsion. This is to provide enough oxygen for the in the symbiotic bacteria that live in its stomach and provide for its nutritional and energy needs. Um, the sea pangolin comes from the gastropod family Peltospiridae, whose first recorded appearance in history occurred in the Eocene period. Uh, 47.8 million to 41.3 million years ago, the volcano snail has one of the most unique and bizarre bodies in the animal kingdom. It is the only animal species whose body is made of mineralized iron because this snail lives in hydrothermal vents miles deep in the ocean. It is subject to intense atmospheric pressure and intense heat of up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. It has adapted to these conditions by forming a body that can withstand and protect it. The shell of the sea. Pangolin consists of three layers, the outer layer, middle layer, and inner layer. The outer layer of the volcano snail shell is made of iron sulfites, and it is the only animal whose skeleton possesses these substance. The outer shell is 13 nanometers thick and black. The middle layer of the shell is the waterproof organic layer of skin found in gastropoles. It is thick brown and made of a variety of proteins which are crunching. This uh, middle layer of the snail's shell is tough and protects the body against physical stress and tension. Such as a predator attack, it also serves to disperse excess heat. The inner layer of the shell is creamy white in color due to the presence of aragonide, a type of calcium carbonate. The shell of the sea pangolin has three rolls and the shell opening is elliptical. This nailer foot is one of the most characteristic features of the volcano snail. Hundreds of iron sclerites reinforce its sites that measure about uh, one to five millimeters each. These sclerides are hard calcified pieces of mineralized iron with soft tissue at each one's core. Uh, the outermost layer of this chloride is made of iron pyrite sulfides. This chlorides give the snail's food a scaly appearance, hence its nickname scaly food gastropod. The function of this chlorides are currently unknown, but what we exactly know is that the body of the volcano snail is red in color. The volcano snail's internal organs differ from a lot of snail and animal species as well. It has a really big heart, and we don't mean its kindness. Its heart makes up about 4% of its body volume, which is large for any animal to compare. The human heart is only 0.3% of our body volume. The digestive system of the sea pangolin is simple and lacks development. Zoologists believe that it doesn't eat, so it depends on in the symbiotic bacteria to produce energy for it. 
The snail has an esophageal gland where these bacteria reside. It also has a stomach, a reduced intestine, and an anus just above the genital opening. The volcano snail does not have eyes or tentacles. There is little to almost no information about the behavior and habits of the volcano snail, due mostly to the harshness of its environment. The scale of food gastropod lives at hydrothermal vents in the Indian Ocean. Here they interact with other often venomous snail species and crabs as well who prey on the volcanic snail. It is unclear whether or not the snails live a solid through life, but it is possible, especially considering the fact that they are hermaphrodites. They do not need to mate with other snails to reproduce volcano. Snails also leave a statutory lifestyle because they partner with in the symbiotic bacteria to cater for their nutritional needs. They do not need to hunt for prey. Their digestive system is poorly developed anyway, so they are not active creatures. A fun fact about volcano snails is that they do not need to eat food to survive. While this may sound impossible, it is perfectly normal life for the snail. The volcano snail is an obligate symbiotroph after the alarm stage. They get all of their nourishment not from feeding, but from and the symbiotic bacteria. These bacteria make their own food through a process called chemo, autotrophy, or chemosynthesis. The volcano snail has an esophageal gland that houses the endosymbiotic bacteria. This gland is about a thousand times bigger than it is in other snails to properly lodge the bacteria. It also has a stomach containing pellets, likely sulfur granules made by the bacteria, to detoxify hydrogen. Sulfide volcano snails are endemic to Africa, particularly the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. This snail boasts of hydrothermal vent, origins and resides in the deep ocean ridges. The range of the volcano snail has a limit. It occupies the hydrothermal vents deep in the Indian Ocean, approximately 1.5 to 1.8 miles below sea level at severe atmospheric pressure. Volcano snails inhabit three recorded locations. The long key event filled the Cairo event field, and the solitaire vent filled the main difference between these three band fields is the level of iron concentration due to the inaccessibility of these locations. There is difficulty in obtaining information about the volcano snails who live in these regions. However, the Chrysler Melon Squamous population uh, at the Longfield event field is reportedly teeming like many other snail species. The volcano snail is simultaneously hermaphroditic. This means that it has both male and female sexual reproductive organs present at the same time it is the only species in the family. Peltospirity to be a simultaneous hermaphrodite volcano, snails practice self-fertilization. Volcano snails lay eggs that do not depend on the mother for nutrients and solely rely on a yolk sac for nourishment. Their eggs are also negatively buoyant, meaning that they are heavier than water. Volcano snails might have a larval or planktonic stage of life after the eggs hatch, but this is under speculation because of the volcano snail's rarity and also its tight range. It is not easy to be studied. The intricate details of its reproductive life cycle are still under research. The lifespan of the volcano snail is unknown, but sea snails typically survive for up to 10 years or even more in the wild volcano. Snails do not do well in aquarium environments and only survived over three weeks in one because of their deep sea hydrothermal habitat. The scale of food gastropo does not have many natural predators. However, it does have a couple of known predators, other venomous snails and crabs that inhabit the area. The volcano snail's shell seemingly protects it from attacks, but it can still be heard or die by their sealants. These animals not only prey on the volcano snail, but also compete with it for leaving space.